In today's video, we're going to take a look at a new and upcoming feature of JavaScript, and that is the Nullish Coalescing Operator. To start off, let's look at an example. So here I have a simple object that holds uh, the name of somebody and the amount of money they have on them, let's say in dollars. And what I want is in the UI, well, UI of my application is to sort, sort of show a text that says, hello, name, and then the amount of money you have in your account. This is usually, uh, you, you can see this usually in a web page of sorts or something like that. So right now we're just printing it to the console. So if I try to run this, you'll notice that I will get the name printed nicely on the screen and then also the amount of money they have. Now, this is one of the most common issues when it comes to JavaScript is when you don't have that field defined. So if I, for example, just comment out the money field, right? And I try to uh, run this again, you'll notice that I get, you have undefined in your account or undefined amount of dollars in your account. And that's, that's very often that you can see that, but uh, you, have ways to prevent it. So if you have, for example, this field be undefined, let's, let's default to a hundred dollars. For example, what do you usually do? You usually just say, uh, or a hundred, right? And let's, let's give your default value to this guy as well. So we're going to say, or, um, let's say hello world. Why not? That sounds nice and fitting. So if that's the case, now, if I try to run this, I should get you have a hundred dollars in your account due to the fact that this is actually undefined and uh, is a false C value. It short, it doesn't short circuit, so you get a hundred on the screen. So here we go. You get you have a hundred dollars on your account. Nice. So this works for uh, fields that are null or undefined. Cool. The problem comes with uh, values that are false C, but are actually valid for the such values. So for example, if I have uh, $0 in my account, you might say that, okay, I should, get a, I should get zero, right? Because, well, this case is not undefined, but the truth of the matter is that O.money is evaluated as a false value, thus it spits out a hundred. This sort, this whole thing spits out a hundred and then I get here on the screen, a hundred dollars. So that's not right because we actually do have a valid value here. So what you will have to do is use a ternary operator that checks if all that money is probably loosely equal to null or something like that. So this new operator called the null coalescing operator, all it does is replace this uh, or with another one with another operator that says, all right, treat basically everything the same, except, except uh, allow falsy values here. So only, only check if o.money or o.name is null or undefined. If it's zero, spit it out on the screen, right? So if this is zero, spit o.money. If this is null, spit a hundred, right? So if I try to run this now, you'll notice I get zero dollars on the uh, debug console here. <clears throat> and this works for strings as well. As you might know, an empty string is also false or falsely value. So uh, in this case, with just the or operator, you can notice that if I do this, I'm going to get hello world, even though I want empty string there. I don't know why I might want that, but let's say that the default value is not an empty string. Right. So in that case, the nullish coalescing operator does the job well and detects that, oh, you actually want this empty string here. So you only want to short circuit when you have either null or undefined. You don't want to short circuit when you have an empty string because that'd be weird. That's still a sort of valid string. In some cases you might, but in this case, no. We want this guy to be printed on the screen. And then when I run this, you'll notice <clears throat> that I get an empty string right here. So as you can see, we didn't get the default value because we already have a default value that is not null nor undefined. So this is what the nullish coalescing operator does. As you probably have already 
uh, encountered in many other languages. It basically checks if this guy is null or undefined, or rather if it's uh, loosely equal to null or undefined. Then if it is one of those, if that's true, spit out the the value at the after the operator basically and these of course can be chained together without an issue so as you can see this is a very uh, neat feature of javascript that was needed for quite some time now and i'm glad that this gets into the standard at one point right now it's not supported by any <laughs> any browsers and not even node itself what i'm doing right now i'm using Babel to build it and i'm using a plugin that sort of translates this to uh, what it's supposed to be. Although the proposal for this feature is almost at its uh, final stages. So one more stage and it's up there in the standard. And there's one more feature that I would like to cover relating this null or undefined check in the next video. For now, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you're excited for the future of JavaScript and thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.